Okay, hey, welcome to the shop. We're working on a boat. It's a channel where we share tips and tricks to help you working on your boat and to have a great time while you do it. The jokes are campy, the production value is cheap, but the information is priceless. So, so stay tuned. My name's Eric with New Point Marine. Grab your tool bag. Let's work on a boat. Okay, hey, welcome to the docks. Uh, we're working on a boat. Today I got a little project I thought I'd share with you. Um, I need to seal up this penetration here in our cabin top. Um, and I wanted to share with you how we go about uh, attaching something, a little piece of hardware, to our fiberglass with screws without making a mess of it, and how we can go about sealing up this penetration so that, you know, water and insects and things don't get in there. So. Uh, to do something like this, we have a couple of options available to us. Uh, seal up, you know, there's these nice little ready-made wire seals here, and we could use something like this. But in this particular application, um, this is not the best choice for us because these sit here, they're going to stand a little proud, like that, and also they're going to kind of force our wire here to be perpendicular to the cabin top or cabin side excuse me so uh, what that's going to do is allow our wire to stick out a little bit and there is always a chance that uh, as we're moving from the cockpit here down the side deck we could snag this wire not the best choice and the other thing is this is like a really great place to sit and relax and uh, you know trying to relax we really don't want this in our shoulder so we need to come up with a solution that's going to seal this up but be more low profile than these guys so what i'm going to do is i am going to seal it up using one of these this is just a little very inexpensive stainless steel clamshell vent and how we're going to do this is i'm going to put that clamshell vent over like that attach it with screws and seal it up so it's waterproof. And that's what I wanted to show you how we do that today. How we can attach the screws without making a mess and how we can seal up a penetration with something like this, with a piece like that and make it waterproof. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And I'll, I'll show you how we do that, so stand by. All right, so let's go ahead and get this done. Um, what I'm gonna do, first thing, I'm gonna take my little clamshell vent and put that into place where I want it like that and then I'm going to take my drill with drill bit appropriately sized to make the pilot hole for the screw I want to use so go ahead and okay so I've got my pilot hole for my first screw what I'm going to do I'm going to trade out my drill bit for a countersink now why use a countersink on this? Why go the extra step? We'll talk about that in just a second. Okay, so why use a countersink or something like this when we're drilling into our fiberglass? Well, the countersink, this little recession here, it serves three purposes. One is, when we do it this way, we actually prevent the screw as it's going in from forcing the fiberglass up a little bit and it makes a little island kind of pushes up and that can keep the that little when it starts to raise up that little island can keep the flat part of our piece of hardware here from sitting down tight and it can prevent it from sealing the other thing is is as that little island <laughs> you know that little bump of fiberglass is being raised it's, it can crack the gel coat or the fiber or the uh, paint around it and that cracking can show from underneath of our piece of hardware that we're attaching and it just really looks bad the other thing and the best reason i think for doing the countersink this way is that it gives our sealant a place to go so if you were to imagine if i put sealant on my flat piece here and i attach that flat piece to flat cabin side as we tighten this down we're going to push that sealant out we're going to force it away and it, we can actually push all the sealant away from around where the fastener is 
and it doesn't seal. But with this, what we're doing is we give the sealant a place to go. It can, gets forced down into this little recess and seals around the fastener so that what we've done is we've created basically a little o-ring seal right here and that will seal around the fastener really well and uh, prevent this from leaking. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. All right, so I've got my first pilot hole drilled and countersunk here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and temporarily attach my clamshell vent here in place so that I can go ahead and drill the other holes. Now you might say, well, why don't you just hold it in place there and just drill all three holes at the same time? Uh, because I'll guarantee you that if you're trying to hold this in place and drill it, from the first fast from the first hole to the last hole this is going to shift a little bit and your screw pattern is going to be off so i'm just going to take a few extra minutes and uh, do them one at a time so i know that they're in the spot that i want them to be so i'm going to go ahead and attach this right now so we can go drill the other holes now a uh, little trick here trying to drive a self-tapping screw into the fiberglass here sometimes it it hangs up and you can snap these off real easy so we want to avoid that any way we can so what I'm going to do is just take the little bit of silicon sealant here that I'm going to use to seal this up and just put a dab of that on my screw it'll help lubricate it as it's going in and uh, hopefully keep us from snapping this off doing is I'm going in a turn, backing out a turn, going in a turn, backing out a turn, trying to keep this screw from snapping off. We don't want to do that today. second pilot hole. Loosen that up. Second screw in. A little silicon. So now we're ready to go ahead and uh, seal up this penetration. Now what we're going to use is just uh, just plain old silicone, white silicone. It does a really good job of sealing this up and it is incredibly easy to work with. And uh, I'll show you how we do that. Let me just take it with me for a second and I'll show you what we got. Anyway, yeah, there we go. So we've got our holes for our screws made and they're countersunk. And we're just going to go ahead and seal this up with some silicone and now let's do that all right so i've got my tube of silicone and what i'm going to start by doing is just going to my little hole the hole right here that i want to seal up and i'm just going to push some silicone into that hole and what i want to do is 
I don't want to let the silicon get outside the footprint of my little uh, clamshell vent there because I don't want to make a mess. Okay. That's pretty good. Now, here's a trick. What I'm going to do, take some, take a little bit of soapy water here and I'm just going to spritz over spritz over the dab of silicone I just put there. A little soapy water on my fingers. And then I can go ahead and I can work that into the hole. And it won't stick to my fingers. So let's go ahead and put our clamshell on. So again. Clamshell. I'm going to put a dab of silicon in there just like that. Like that. In a screw. So I got my dab of silicon in there, just like that. Got my fasteners in place. I'm just going to give each one of them. Dab of silicon on the threads. And we'll put this in place. So I've got my clamshell just loosely in place here. Next step, take this soapy water again, it's a spritz around it. And we'll go ahead and tighten our vent down. soapy water is doing for us is it's preventing it from sticking to anything that's that the soap is on so right around the top here we can clean up very very easy underneath get a little mesh out we just go ahead pick it up in there sealed up our uh, little wire penetration here. Uh, nice low profile, not likely to snag anybody as they're going around the corner. Not gonna stick me in the shoulder while I'm sitting here enjoying morning coffee and reading my book. Uh, so after the uh, after the silicon in here cures, I'm gonna come back with a, uh, a line support clamp and we'll use that to support the wire so that if there is any pull on it, we're not pulling on, on this. We're supporting the wire. So anyway, uh, let me bring you over and I'll show you what we got. Ooh, there it is, and underneath, I don't know if you can see that on camera or not, but uh, there's a nice little slug of silicon in there. It's not gonna let, it's not gonna let anything uh, get in there. So uh, 
experience. A little trick if you need to seal up a penetration in your boat. Anyway, uh, until next time, uh, keep working on your boat.